everyone and welcome to another reading. So this is going to be for all 12 zodiac signs for all singles in reference to what you could possibly expect for the rest of September 2021. I have linked the timestamps in the description box down below. So all you have to do is click the description box and you'll see the timestamps linked down below. But without any further ado, let's just get started. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on with you for the rest of September 2021 for all the singles out there. Let's see. For Taurus, Sun Rising, and Venus. All right. Oh, Taurus, don't hate me. Don't hate me. We do have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Sorry. I mean, it's out of my control, dude. It's out of my control. All right, let's see what's going on. Uh, what could Taurus expect for the rest of September? hate me man don't hate me this is not new love and i think that you know that already we have the moon we also have the ten of swords and then we have judgment and then we have the six of swords taurus it looks like there's someone here who has a very very difficult time um letting the connection that they once upon a time had with you go okay i feel like this person has tried for the most part to move on with their life but they just don't know how to let you go to be totally honest they just don't know how to let you go and i do see this person resurfacing back into your life so let's look at judgment let's look at judgment tell me more about judgment oh taurus we have the knight of pentacles we also have the two of cups and then we have the seven of cups oh. Come on, Taurus, you don't feel bad. I do. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, possibly a Scorpio, maybe even a Pisces. We also have Cancer out here and Aquarian energy. Yeah, this person's going to be resurfacing back into your life, Taurus. This is somebody who still does feel a very strong, intense connection to you. And like I said, they have a very difficult time letting you go. I feel like this person has tried. Um, and it kind of looks like, unfortunately, they just can't picture themselves without you it's a very sweet reading so i know for those of you who are interested in new love i'm not really getting new love for you whatsoever for the rest of september 2021 it does look like you have someone from your past resurfacing back into your life taurus all right so with that being said sorry no new love for you but you do have someone from your past resurfacing back into your life that just can't quite picture themselves without you or with someone else so it's a sweet reading but that's what we have for you taurus so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and i will see you guys in your next reading bye hello capricorn let's see what's going on with you for the rest of september 2021 for all of the singles out there for Capricorn, Sun Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, we do have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Capricorn, for the rest of September 2021. For Capricorn. What Capricorn to expect for the rest of September 2021? All right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. We have the page of wands we also have the three of pentacles then we have the ten of pentacles and then we have the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck we have the king of swords true pair situation here between you and this person in particular i like this i like this a lot now what you could expect for the rest of september 2021 it looks like you have someone here that wants to work towards a partnership with you, Capricorn. Now, this could be a new person. I am reading for all the singles, so it could very well be a new person heading in your direction, um, Capricorn. Sometime, you know, obviously between now and the rest of September 2021. Now, whoever this person is, this is somebody that you're going to essentially see the potential for a long-term committed relationship to come out of this situation, mainly because of the simple fact that it's a very balanced and stable connection that you have here heading in your direction capricorn now it could very well be an aquarius heading in your direction possibly a libra we have virgo energy here as well as pisces and sagittarius but it's looking really good this is a very stable connection this is a connection that has the potential to reach a long-term committed relationship of course that all depends on the both of you but it kind of looks like the both of you really do want this and the both of you are going to work towards creating a firm foundation with one another so 
For the rest of September, Capricorn is looking really good here for you. And you have someone here that, again, is willing to put in the time, energy, and effort into making this relationship work here between you and them. And this is somebody who does feel a very strong and intense connection to you. But I also essentially feel like the feeling is essentially neutral, all right? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with you for the rest of September 2021. For all of my single Virgos out there. We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. All right, let's see. What can my Virgos expect for the rest of September 2021? Let's see. We have the Two of Swords. You could be dealing with a Libra. Possibly. We also have the Three of Wands with the Sun. And then we also have the Chariot. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Four of Wands. And then we do have the Star. Okay, we'll get into it. With the Ace of Swords. Then we have the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Okay. Um, Virgo, very, very soon, there's going to be someone here. Um, and it looks like it is a brand new person that's essentially surfacing here for you. However, it kind of looks like, how can I explain this? Yes, this person's kind of coming up out of the blue here for you, Virgo. And I do feel like this person's going to catch you off guard just a little bit. However, even though this person has a lot of things that you're essentially looking for within a person... I do see you essentially questioning this person and this brand new beginning with this person along the way. It kind of looks like you're honestly allowing fear um, to essentially get the best of you, especially when it comes down to this person that's heading in your direction, okay? A whole lot of fear getting in the way, fear of getting hurt, fear of it not essentially working out in your favor, things of that nature. You might even be looking at this whole entire situation here between you and this person like this is like a too good to be true sort of situation. And that could have everything to do with the simple fact that this person has a lot of things that you're essentially looking for within a person. Now, this relationship does have the potential to lead to something long term, but this really does all depend on you, Virgo, on whether or not it even gets to that point, especially because I kind of feel like this is your energy, to be totally honest. You're allowing fear um, to essentially get the best of you when it comes down to giving this person and this brand new beginning here between you and this person a chance. Look, a whole lot of fear coming from you when it comes down to giving this person um, a chance. But I do see this person heading in your direction. Um, again, this is one of those situations, man, where the both of you could essentially see the potential with one another. That's not the problem. The, the real problem is, is that you're allowing fear to really get the best of you. So much to the point where it's kind of hard to tell Virgo, whether or not you're going to honestly give this person and this relationship a fair chance. I feel like if you do, you won't regret it. But the thing is, is that there's way, there's just way too much fear um, attached to you. You know, I think that you're giving into the, well, what if it doesn't work out? And, you know, what if this person hurts me? What if this person deceives me? What if this person betrays me? What if this? What if that? There's only honestly one way to honestly find out whether or not it's going to essentially work out here between you and this person. And that does kind of require you, Virgo, to give this person and this relationship a chance, okay? So love is showing up here for you. I just see you questioning the hell out of it, to be completely honest. Now, whether or not this relationship excels all depends on you, to be totally honest. I, I think that this person's showing up. I think that this person is showing you how interested they are in you and how serious they are about you. But whether or not you choose to take them up on their offer is entirely up to you, Virgo. All right? Like I said, it does have the potential to lead to something long-term. I feel like this person has a lot uh, that you're essentially looking for within a person. It's just fear that's really getting the best of you. So don't allow fear to, to get the best of you because you could very well be robbing yourself of a really good opportunity here with somebody that's very, very interested in you. All right, Virgo? So just be mindful of that. All right, hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you for the rest of September 2021. 
for all of my single Geminis out there. Let's see what's going on. We have wedding. The situation involves marriage. All right, let's see what's going on. For Gemini, Sun rising in Venus. What can my Geminis expect for the rest of September 2021? For all of my single Geminis out there. All right, very nice. We have the King of Wands. Okay, I like this. We also have the Lovers. We have the Two of Cups, and then we also have the Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with uh, a Leo, possibly a Gemini, possibly even a Cancer, maybe even a Virgo. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, of course. All right, I'm not mad at this energy whatsoever, to be completely honest. I feel like this is your overall energy. When it comes down to whoever this person is that's essentially showing up here for you, whoever this person is, Gemini, this is somebody who is very, very interested in you. This is somebody who has a lot of desire for you and a relationship, essentially, with you. Now, with all of that being said, I kind of feel like this is somebody who not only do they have a lot of desire for you, Gemini, this is somebody who does feel a very strong and intense connection to you. This is somebody who's very reliable. This is somebody who's very dependable. This is somebody who's going to be very consistent when it comes down to pursuing what it is that they want with you. So, so far, so good. However, your overall energy is that type of energy of I'm going to play it safe. Now, I don't necessarily see you turning your back towards this brand new opportunity that you could have with this person in particular. I just kind of see you playing it safe. You're going to allow this situation to unfold here between you and this person. You're going to take your time here when it comes down to you and whoever this person is that's showing up here for you. Now, with all of that being said, I don't necessarily see you giving it your all when it comes down to this person in particular, mainly because of the simple fact that you're just that type of person that when you find yourself in a connection, you have the tendency of giving it your all, all right? And you don't necessarily want to invest all of your time and energy into the wrong person. You're coming from a place of, you know what? I'm just going to kind of take my time with this person. I'm not going to rush things with this person. Not until you feel 100% secure within your relationship with this person. In the meantime, I do see you essentially playing it safe. So you are going to be giving to this situation. You're just not going to give as much of your time and energy to this connection until you start to feel 100% secure within your relationship with this person in particular. So it's not a bad energy to be in whatsoever. I just, again, I think that you're just that type of person that um, really does essentially give it your all when it comes down to somebody that you're very interested in. And unfortunately, it kind of looks like your past has taught you um, to just be a little bit patient when it comes down to um, relationships that you find yourself in because you don't want to dump all of your time and energy into the wrong person. Not until you can essentially tell that this is the right person that you should be investing your time and energy into. I don't, I don't see you essentially giving you your all, but then again, that's not a bad thing. I think that you're protecting your energy. I think that you're playing it safe. Um, it, it's one of those situations where it's like, if this person really does want to be with you, if this person essentially really does mean well, they have to kind of show you that they're here for the long run and they're just not here, you know, just to have a good old time with you. You know what I'm saying? And waste your time. All right. So not a bad energy to essentially be in. I think that you're coming from a good place. You're not uh, not giving your it your all because you want to be malicious or play any games. You're just playing it safe and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever all right so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and i will see you guys in your next reading bye hello aquarius let's see what's going on with you for the rest of september 2021 for all of the singles out there for aquarius let's see we have it safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and then we also have soulmate yes this is your soulmate all right let's see you could be dealing with a cancer specifically it doesn't necessarily have to be the case of course all right what could aquarius expect for the rest of september 2021 all right aquarius we have the two of swords i'm going to look into this and then we also have the ace of cups and we have the king of wands and then we have the ten of pentacles all right now aquarius 
for you. It looks like love is showing up here for you and it has a potential to lead to something long term. Kind of looks like you're very, very tempted to essentially go after this brand new beginning here, possibly between you and more than likely a brand new person. However, there's a level of hesitation on your behalf at the same time. Even though you're feeling tempted to go after this brand new beginning that's being presented to you because you could definitely see the potential for something stable and long term to come out of it. You're still kind of like, I don't know if I should with that two of swords. And I want to look into that. Tell me more about that. You're kind of like on the fence about all of this is kind of what it feels like. Tell me more about the two of swords. True pair situation here between you and this person in particular. We have the six of pentacles. We also have the five of wands. Interesting. With the queen of wands. I see, I see, I see. Have you ever heard of the 80-20 uh, rule that there could be 80% of what you like about a person and that 20% that you're just like, I don't know if I can deal with that for the rest of my life. It kind of feels that way, all right? Whoever this person is, I think that this is somebody who's very kind, somebody who's very generous, somebody who essentially means well, but this could also be somebody um, that, especially with the five of wands being out here, somebody who could be very jealous, possibly a little bit possessive over you, but you know what? Truth be told, you guys are showing up as a king of wands and the queen of wands. It's very common uh, for someone in this dynamic to be very jealous or very possessive. The king and the queen of wands are known for being very crazy and possessive actually towards one another to be totally honest um that tends to happen you know within the king and the queen of wands dynamic here um it just kind of looks like when it comes down to the person that you're connecting with there's a lack of trust that this person has when it comes down to you all right let's just throw the obvious out there i don't feel like this person trusts you entirely so i think that you are kind of taking all of that into consideration when it comes down to pursuing anything with this person in particular because even though this person has really good qualities to them um qualities that you're essentially looking for within a person they also have some qualities that you don't necessarily like like maybe this person's very argumentative maybe this person's very possessive maybe this person's very jealous when it comes down to you but nonetheless i do feel like this is somebody who's just simply crazy about you basically in a nutshell aquarius um it just kind of looks like for the most part there's just a lack of trust here coming from this person in reference to you, which the king and the queen of wands are known for having a lot of trust issues. Um, you know what's interesting is that this all kind of works in phases. So the first like runner ups are the king and the queen of wands and then the king and the queen of swords follows right after. And that sort of dynamic is where you start to build trust with the person that you're connecting with. It just kind of looks like trust needs to essentially be built here between these two people. Outside of that, it's looking really promising. It's looking really good here. And like I said, it could be a new person. It could be somebody that you're already dealing with, um, but maybe this is just like a fairly new connection where the two of you are at the very beginning stages. But nonetheless, it has potential. It does. It has potential, all right? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on with you for the rest of September 2021 for all of the singles out there. For Libra, summarizing in Venus. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. All right, let's see what's going on. What can my Libras expect for the rest of September 2021? All right. We have the King of Pentacles. We also have the Eight of Wands. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. And then we also have the Hierophant. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Cups. We also have the Ace of Swords. Then we have the Hangman. And then we have the Two of Wands. And then we have the Lovers. All right, this is more so acting as uh, an advice for you, Libra, more than anything. It kind of looks like there is someone here that you're going to essentially be connecting with. Um, now, for a lot of you, this is a brand new person, okay? Now, with all of that being said, I can see how interested and invested you are when it comes down to this person in particular. There's an energy of really wanting to essentially give it your all when it comes down to the person that you're going to essentially find yourself connecting with. This is also somebody that you're going to essentially see yourself possibly having a long-term committed relationship with. However, when it comes down to the person that you're connecting with, 
it kind of looks like this person they don't mind getting to know you Libra they don't mind spending time with you they don't mind it but it looks like this person needs a little bit more time to fully adapt themselves to the connection that they share with you and my biggest worry to be totally honest is this person because I kind of see that even though this person's very very interested in you and even though this person does feel a very strong intense connection to you this is also somebody who has a tendency of kind of going back and forth in their head when it comes down to fully embracing this connection with you is concerned so try to tone it down just a little bit uh, Libra, when it comes down to the person that you're connecting with, allow this person to adapt to this whole entire situation here between you and them. Um, because if not, what's going to end up happening is that this person might start to get a little bit scared and might start to pull away from you. Okay, so just allow this person to adapt to this whole entire situation. The feeling is essentially mutual. The both of you feel strongly about one another. The both of you feel an instant connection towards one another, but you're also dealing with somebody who has a tendency of kind of questioning themselves, especially when it comes down to dealing with people, okay? You might be dealing with somebody who has a lot of trust issues, so that could also be a major factor in all of this. But outside of that, this is more so like an advice. Just take things day by day. Don't try to rush things with this person in particular. I see how interested you are in this person, but you're dealing with a person that has a tendency of being indecisive at times. But mainly when it comes down to the people that they choose to pursue a romantic relationship with. And even though this is somebody who's very interested in you, this is also somebody who's going to find themselves kind of questioning themselves along the way. And this could also be somebody who just simply doesn't trust themselves enough to put themselves out there and fully invest when it comes down to a relationship is concerned. Because it kind of looks like when it comes down to you, you're all in. You know, you're just like an open book when it comes down to this whole entire situation here between you and them and you're dealing with somebody who's not like that. So that's why it's going to take a little bit of time for this person to fully adjust to this whole entire situation here between you and them. So just be mindful of that. Outside of that, it looks really good. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. All right, Aries, let's see what's... Oh, okay, Aries, that was quick. We have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay. All right, let's see what Aries can expect for the rest of September 2021 for all of the singles out there for Aries. Oh, okay, I like this one here. We have the King of Pentacles. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the Hangman. And then we have the Three of Cups. Oh yeah, I like this one here. You could be dealing with a Taurus, possibly a Virgo, maybe even a Pisces or a Cancer. Yeah, I think you're going to really like them too, because I like them for you. I think that you're going to really like this person in particular. I don't feel like this is you. It could be you, um, Aries, but I'm not, I'm not getting that, to be totally honest, all right? Kind of looks like you have someone here heading in your direction. Now, this is somebody who's very, very interested in you. I love the fact that this person is coming out as the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, this is kind of like that perfect partner sort of situation here that's being presented to you. This is somebody who's very loyal. This is somebody who's dependable. This is somebody who's very committed. This is somebody who's going to be very consistent when it comes down to you um, and getting to know you, things of that nature. I just feel like this is somebody who's very, very interested in getting to know you you um and with that being said i feel like when this person does essentially surface uh into your life you're gonna really really like this person you're gonna really really like this person and it's gonna cause you to want to essentially manifest a connection with this person into fruition but i also feel like you actually manifested this person into fruition believe it or not so with that being said we got someone here is very loyal, very committed. This could be a businessman, businesswoman, somebody who's uh, very, very career oriented, somebody who's dependable, somebody who's reliable, uh, somebody who's very, very interested in getting to know you, Aries. So I do feel like this person's kind of popping up out of the blue here because currently at the moment, it just kind of looks like you may not be 
dating, talking to anyone, but I kind of feel like this person is going to be surfacing up out of the blue here for you. So I don't necessarily feel like you're going to be anticipating or expecting this person. It's just kind of one of those situations where you're kind of at the verge of giving up on love and, and, and the perfect person for you, but this person is going to be surfacing into your life and it's going to kind of catch you off guard just a little bit but again i do feel like you've manifested this person to fruition and they're finally here all right like i said it looks like a very decent good human being that's heading in your direction somebody who just really wants to take their time out to honestly get to know you all right so so far so good it has the potential but of course it all depends on the both of you on how far this relationship um goes all right so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and i will see you guys in your next reading bye all right sagittarius let's see what's going on with you for the rest of september 2021 for sagittarius someone rising in venus okay we have honeymoon enjoy the blissful holiday time together all right let's see what's going on here what can my Sagittarians expect for the rest of September 2021? For all of my single Sagittarians out there. Let's see. For Sagittarius. Hmm. We have the Two of Swords. We also have Temperance. And then we have the Four of Cups. And then we have the Five of Pentacles bottom of the deck we do have the seven of cups i like this energy with the nine of pentacles all right we also have the three of swords and then we have the six of cups i like this energy to be totally honest for you sagittarius now keep in mind this could be you this could be somebody that you're energetically connected to but i'm going to go ahead and say that this is you for the sake of the reading you have the two of swords with temperance and then you also have the four of cups and then you have the five of swords it kind of looks like you're slowly but surely moving into a place of acceptance in reference to a person that's no longer in your life now this could be somebody that ghosted you this could be somebody that essentially walked away from you however right it kind of looks like you're slowly but surely moving into that place of acceptance that it's time for you to essentially get up and move on with your life and i do essentially see you doing that I see you essentially trying to find yourself all over again, which I do like. And in the midst of you trying to find yourself all over again, because I do feel like this relationship took a lot out of you, to be totally honest, Sagittarius, to the point where for a lot of you, you kind of lost yourself uh, within this connection. And the fact that it came to an end, it probably made things a little bit 10 times harder for you as far as like moving on with your life is concerned. Now easier said than done but it is doable i think that you're just kind of in this process of finding yourself all over again and and just bouncing back and not allowing this whole entire situation to keep you stuck and stagnant now the only reason why i say it's going to be easier said than done is because you do have the three of swords and the six of cups that follows you know it's going to take some time sad for you to essentially make peace with the ending of this relationship that you once upon a time had with this person in particular but i could assure you that you will get out of this stuck and stagnant energy and you will find yourself all over again it's one of those situations where when you finally get over this person and you finally move on um, with your life and you continue to apply so much time energy onto yourself and forget about everybody else you will essentially bounce back flawlessly. So I'm not that worried about you being stuck in this energy for too long whatsoever. It's just, you know, starting all over again and, and getting back to the most important person in this entire reading, which is yourself. Um, so like I said, is it going to be a little bit challenging? Yes, but you will essentially bounce back flawlessly and you will find yourself all over again. Um, like I said, it's going to be challenging because I feel like the relationship in itself um, meant a whole lot to you. But just, just remember that everything in life happens for a reason, especially because temperance is out here. It kind of looks like there's a reason why this relationship came to an end. And I feel like ultimately it's going to serve your highest good in the end. You may not see it right now. You may not even understand it right now. But it is serving your highest good, whether you believe it or not, all right? And in time, I think that you're going to realize that it is going to essentially serve your highest good as you work through getting over this person and letting this connection go. So no new love uh, for the rest of September. This is just about finding yourself all over again. Um, so 
With that being said, hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on with you for the rest of September 2021 for all the singles out there. Okay, you got two cards that wanted to come out. We do have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then we also have trust. The situation's calling for you to have faith. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Leo, for the rest of September 2021 for all the singles out there. What's going on, my Leos? All right. We have the tower. We also have the sun. And then we have the hermit. And then we have the magician. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the two of cups. And then we also have the seven of cups with the lovers. And then we also have judgment. All right, let's talk about it. Now, in reference to what you could possibly expect for the rest of September 2021, Leo, it kind of looks like something unexpected is happening for you. This tower is actually a positive tower moment here, um, especially for you. It kind of looks like you've been trying to essentially manifest the things that you essentially want into fruition, not only for yourself, Leo, but especially when it comes down to, to love and the person that you're essentially looking for. Now, I do see someone showing up here for you, and it is a fairly new person that's actually showing up here for you out of the blue but I also see someone from your past resurfacing back into your life at the same exact time so not only do you have new love showing up here for you but you also have someone from your past resurfacing back into your life so just be mindful of that Leo um moving forward for the rest of September 2021. I do see that you're manifesting the, the one that you essentially want into fruition, but I also essentially feel like you have someone from your past that's still kind of clinging on to you and what they once upon a time had with you, hence why this person's going to essentially be resurfacing back into your life, Leo. So just be mindful of that. Um, I'm not necessarily sure, you know, what you're going to do with this past person of yours resurfacing back into your life. Ultimately, the decision is entirely up to you whether or not you choose to give this person from your past a chance all over again. That's up to you. Um, but I do see somebody new showing up here for you. Um, now, with all of that being said, there's going to be a lot happening for you. A lot of positive things, though, happening for you uh, for the rest of September 2021. Like I said, not only within your own personal life, but as far as love is concerned, you have a lot of positive things happening in that department as well. All right. So just be mindful. We got somebody new coming in. And then we also have somebody that you already have history with coming in. And I do feel like these two people are kind of coming in out of the blue. So just be mindful of that. All right. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. Hello, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you for the rest of September 2021. Oh, that was quick. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. All right, let's see what's going on. What's going on with my cancers for the rest of September 2021? For all the singles out there. All right, for cancer. Mm. this one i'm gonna be honest i don't like him i don't like him i don't like him i don't we have the three of cups we got the devil we got the knight of wands and then we have the six of swords whoever this person is the moment this person surfaces into your life throw them in the trash um i don't like this person and i rarely ever say that honestly about um people off the rip but i don't like this one at all Especially because of what you're coming in with. Okay, let me just slow my roll, all right? We got a Knight of Wands here. We have the Devil, we have the Three of Cups. Whoever this person is that's heading in your direction, Cancer, this is somebody who's looking to have a good old time with you, all right? Depending on the type of person that you are, that might not necessarily be a bad thing. Maybe you're totally okay with, you know, having a friends with benefits sort of situation here with someone, maybe. But this is somebody who's just after you for a good old time. This is not, this is not someone who plans on sticking around whatsoever, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of throw that out there. I feel like this is your energy. 
Jeez, I feel like this is your energy. Look at that. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. I feel like you're just that type of individual that brings a whole lot to the table, okay? A whole lot to the table. Um, compared to this human over here, they bring absolutely nothing to the table. You see what I'm saying? Um, and you might essentially look at this person like, oh my God, like this is the one for me. I don't think so, Cancer. I'm going to be honest. I don't think so. Um, I think that when it comes down to whoever this is that's heading in your direction, I would advise that you protect your energy uh, from this person in particular um, because of the simple fact that this is somebody who does not have really much to bring to the table besides a good old time um, with you compared to what you have to bring to the table. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You bring too much to the table here. Way too much to the table. I mean, I no, yeah. I'm not, I don't like this person for you. I don't. I think that you're just that type of person that, you know, genuinely does mean well. Um, you're just that type of person that when you do interact with somebody, you're looking for something long-term and something stable to come out of that connection. You're not out here looking for, the, for a good old time with people. You're looking for someone that you could build with. You cannot build with this person. You can't. This is somebody who again is just kind of after you for a good old time and especially because you bring a whole lot to the table it's just going to be one of those situations cancer where you're you're going to find yourself putting in all of the time energy and effort and work into keeping this relationship intact and afloat because whoever it is that you're connecting with can't really do that you know what i'm saying they can't um, so this new person that's heading in your direction, um, move away from them. This is not the one for you. This is not the one for you. And I think that you're going to realize that rather quickly that this is not the one for you. You have temperance on your side. Um, and this person has a devil on theirs. So needless to say, uh, cancer, I kind of feel like this person is going to try to really come in and try to woo you with what? I don't, I don't really know probably you know kool-aid smile and hey baby you know i don't know um but i don't necessarily see this person getting too far with you especially because you have temperance on your side i feel like you're divinely guided i feel like you're divinely protected especially because you just bring too much to the table compared to this person you bring too much to the table here and i just kind of feel like this is one of those situations man where this person just they can't even meet you halfway if they wanted to type of dynamic here that I just don't I don't like um so with that being said I don't see this this thing getting too far here between you and this person mainly because I kind of feel like you're really really protected um and just divinely guided and I think that the moment this person surfaces uh into your life is the moment that you're going to start to realize yep this is not the one for me I gotta keep it going because they don't bring anything to the table they don't they might bring a bunch of drama uh, with the devil could indicate that in a good old time but if you're if you're striving for something stable if you're striving for something long term this is not the one for you this is just not not the one for you I don't like this person I don't like this person oh look ace of wands the devil uh paired to the ace of wands basically represents a sex-based sort of relationship again it all depends on the person that you are i mean if you're okay with these dynamics then that's fine but i'm saying i don't think it's a good idea mainly because of what you bring to the table and the type of individual that you are you seem like the type of person that essentially connects with people with you know obviously an expectation of wanting to essentially settle down wanting to essentially build a life with someone and the more we look into this person the more it's starting to become very crystal clear that this person really has very little to bring to the table here very little to bring to the table um again i feel like this is somebody who is just here to have a good old time with you and once they get what they want with you they're out moral of the story i don't like this person and I don't feel like this person deserves you whatsoever. I don't. I don't. This this is somebody who doesn't bring absolutely anything to the table. Absolutely anything. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. 
We have the Four of Swords. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. And then we have the Nine of Wands. This person, initially when they come in, they're going to give you this impression that they essentially want to work towards something meaningful with you. No. 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 Because they can't. And they know that they can't. These are two people here that... How can, I, how can I explain this to get you to see how I'm looking at it? I just can't get over the fact that you bring way too much to the table here compared to this person. Um, is basically what I'm saying. This person knows that they can't meet you halfway. They know that they cannot meet you halfway. They know. Because they don't bring as much to the table as you do. And I saw that, okay? Um, so they might try to tell you, yeah, you know, I'm looking for something serious. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're not. Once they get what they want from you, they're out. You know, that's just that type of person that they are. And it's not a judgmental thing. It just is what it is. When somebody essentially feels inadequate about themselves and what they can accomplish in life or even within a personal relationship, well, then that's just the way that they are. And that's not, you know, we can't sit here and be mad at this person because of it. Um, but that's just what it is. I don't, I don't know. Nope, nope. Get away from this one. Get away from this one because it's not the one for you. It's not. All right. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you for the rest of September 2021 for all singles. Okay, we got two. We have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. And then we also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see. What's going on with Pisces for the rest of September? All right. We have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Two of Swords. I'm going to look into this Two of Swords. And then we also have the Six of Swords. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Let's look at the Two of Swords. Tell more about the Two of Swords. Oh. All right, Pisces. Let's talk about it. Someone unexpected is showing up here for you. Now, whoever this person is, this is obviously somebody that you had a falling out with. Um, Pisces, so just be mindful of that. But you do have somebody coming in out of the blue here. Knight of Swords is unexpected communication that's heading in your direction. I don't necessarily feel like you're anticipating or expecting this person's arrival whatsoever. Kind of looks like you're under this impression that, you know what, this person has moved on with their life, so I'm moving on with my life. Um, it kind of looks like you're just ready for, for love. Uh, possibly even somebody brand new, you know, to essentially pursue. However, as you're kind of moving on with your life and accepting the fact that, you know what, things are just not simply working out here between you and this person anymore, you have them kind of rushing in out of the blue here. And I want to see what this person wants. Tell me more about the uh, Knight of Swords. We have the Three of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles, and then we also have the... Uh, Hierophant. Yeah, this is them kind of breaking their silence. Whoever this person is, this is somebody who has been keeping their distance from you for quite some time. But this is also somebody who has been waiting to essentially hear from you. And it kind of looks like you've been kind of keeping your distance from this person and not interacting with this person at all. And it's kind of pushing them to kind of come in um, and basically break their silence here. But we have someone here who just basically wants to get back what they essentially lost, which is this commitment that they once upon a time had with you. Um, like I said, it's kind of hard to determine whether or not you're going to give this person a second chance. That really all does depend on you. But if it's one thing that I will say is this, this is an energy of somebody who is just accepting the fact that things are just not working out here. 
right, between you and another person. Accepting that reality and moving on with your life and not allowing this whole entire situation to keep you stuck or stagnant, all right? I feel like at some point it did keep you stuck and stagnant, but you're getting out of that stuck and stagnant sort of energy and you're moving on with your life. And I think that this person sees that. I think that this person knows that. And I think that that's what's triggering them at the same time to kind of run in and get back what they essentially lost, which was this commitment that they once upon a time had with you. So I don't see new love showing up here for you. I don't. Um, if anything, I see you heading towards the new and letting go of this connection and just simply making peace with whatever happened here between you and them and moving on, honestly, uh, with your life. With the Queen of Cups, you essentially felt like you gave it your all. Um, and unfortunately, things went south here between you and this person, but you're accepting that. You're accepting that. You're not fighting against it. You're not sitting here saying that's not fair, blah, blah, blah. You're just accepting that reality and moving on um, with your life. And I feel like that's what's going to really trigger this person to kind of rush back in your direction. So I see someone from your past uh, surfacing back into your life. I just don't see anyone new, okay? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you for the rest of September 2021 for all the single Scorpios out there. What's going on for my Scorpios? We have you deserve love. You are lovable. All right, let's see what's going on. What can my Scorpios expect for the rest of September 2021 for all of my single Scorpios out there? We have the sun, we have the Hierophant, we also have the seven of pentacles, and then we have justice. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we do have judgment. We got a king of wands here. And then we have, interesting, the five of swords. And then we have the queen of cups with the eight of wands. Oh, okay, let's just, let's just keep going. We have the two of swords, and then we also have the Knight of Swords. Okay. I feel like this is one person's energy. Um, and I don't feel like it's yours. It could be yours, however it resonates. All right. But it kind of looks like somebody was kind of contemplating back and forth whether or not they should extend themselves to someone. Okay. And it kind of looks like for the most part, who who's ever in this indecisive place of should I say something or should I not say something? Should I just kind of keep my distance or should I come in and talk to Scorpio? Kind of looks like this person's going to get out of this indecisive sort of energy um, and just extend themselves to you. So I do see someone from your past resurfacing back into your life. Now, whoever this person is, this is somebody that you could have had a big fight, argument, disagreement um, with Scorpio. Now, because the two of you are not showing up as a true pair, it's kind of telling me that there's a massive disconnect happening here between you and this person in particular. Whatever happened here between you and this person, not only did it create a lot of distance here between you and this person, but it also created a lot of tension here between you and this person, so much to the point where it kind of looks like you're kind of looking at this person differently this time around, okay? Um, based off of what initially happened here between you and this person. Now, with all that being said, this person... Are they resurfacing back into your life? Yes. Mainly because the way things are essentially playing out here between you and this person, they don't necessarily like it. They don't like it. They don't like the fact that you're keeping your distance from them um, and they're keeping their distance from you. They just don't like it, especially because I feel like this person's kind of reminiscing on what the two of you once upon a time had. It kind of looks like at some point, throughout your relationship with this person, things were looking really stable. Things were looking really promising. You know, I kind of feel like this connection not only brought a lot of happiness and joy into your life, but I feel like it also brought a lot of happiness and joy into their life. And there's an energy of them wanting to essentially salvage this relationship and get back uh, this relationship to a place where things were essentially stable, things were good, things were, you know, great between you and them. They just simply want to get back to that place of feeling good about their relationship with you all over again. Because again, this is not one of those situations where you guys didn't essentially see the potential with one another. I think that the both of you saw um, potential here with one another. It just kind of looks like things unfortunately hit the fan between you and them, which caused this separation. 
uh, to begin with, but I feel like this person is reconciling with you or at least wanting to reconcile with you because they're still clinging on to what they once upon a time had with you. And what they once upon a time had with you was a really, really good thing. And sometimes, like, you know, we don't know what we have until we lose it. And I feel like that's what's happening here. And then this person's realizing what they had here with you uh, when they lost you. Or when you lost them, however it resonates, right? Um, so then there's that, uh, Scorpio. So no new love. I'm sorry. No new love. But I do see someone from your past resurfacing back into your life wanting to regain what they essentially lost here with you because they lost a really good thing and they're realizing that now all right so uh expect the unexpected here when it comes down to um this person in particular because i don't feel like you're expecting um this person whatsoever but they are going to be resurfacing back into your life for sure all right. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.